Ladies, what's going on? I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Uh, today we're playing our second game in the Rusty Lake series. We are playing Cube Escape the Lake. Now, from my understanding, this might be a shorter one, so maybe we'll play Arliss as well. If not, Arliss will be the next video we upload. So make sure you guys give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and turn notifications on so you get notified of all future uploads of this Rusty Lake series playthrough. And also, we've going to be, be coming up with the Resident Evil playthrough, the entire series as well on that. So definitely turn those notifications on. And uh, without further ado, let's get into Cubescape the Lake. Hey man, how the hell you doing? I've been just fine. forgot how loud the music is here. Um, oh wait, wait, wait. I might need to, okay. Yes, I'm going to reset because, again, reminder, some of these I have played before, um, but it was back in 2020, so nearly four years ago now, uh, so I don't remember anything as you saw in the Seasons video. I had so many struggles with all of that and didn't remember a single thing, so I found an abandoned cabin at Rusty Lake. Interesting. What we got? Line. I can't I can't put those together. Ooh, a knife. I like knives. Knives 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 be pretty cool. Do I need the knife on that? No. Okay. Oh, what else we got? Ooh, a letter. Paper. The past is never dead. It is not even past. Okay. Whatever whatever that means. Ooh, fishing hook? Need a key to get in there. Oh, a crowbar. A crowbar could be handy. Do I, can I use the crow? I can use the crowbar on. Okay. Intriguing. I got a worm or an insect. All right. Uh, before we do that, let me come back here and grab my crow. My, tr my trusty crowbar. Pop that. Ooh, key. Where does where does key has go to? No, no. And it's got to be. There we go. There we go. Mold. Mold. Can I combine these? Put that down. Put this there. Put the hook on there. Um. Put the mold on there. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Cast it out. Pull it in. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Apparently, you use. Okay. That works. Um, put the insect on here? I'm just in maybe the eyeball, or is the eyeball something I'm supposed to keep? Shrimp. Okay. No, the eyeball. Okay, so the eyeball is here. We have this. I don't see the shrimp on here. Am I supposed to do something else with the shrimp? Am I supposed to, like, prep you? Cut you? Ooh. There was a key inside of the shrimp? A worm and a magnet? Well, I guess we'll go do more fishing then. No. Put a magnet on there. Yeah. What am I going to get with the magnet? You guys ever see those videos of like people magnet fishing and pulling up like guns and, and all this other nonsense crazy stuff like safes? Another key. Well, what if, okay, let's put the worm, let's finish fishing out here, and then we'll go check what that key gives us. Okay, a fish. Do I also have to cut open the fish? This goes here, boom, perfect. Hey, I think that's just one of the things. What is, what? Okay. I'm assuming those are the slots. Okay, so eyeball in bottom right. Right there. Um, seashell in here. Um, coin here. Okay, and then I just need an apple. 
Need an apple and a diamond? What? I do see that we have the head now, so I can go fishing with the head. This is this is a very neat concept for a puzzle game. Of like needing to go fishing to get your supplies and you have to find all this stuff and That's a body! That that is one hundred percent a body. Oh, I won't tell me anything. <laughs> It's the apple. I found. I found the. I found the apple, guys. Found the apple. 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 Apple goes here. Okay. So now I just need the diamond. Where do I get the diamond from? So I don't have to keep doing that. All right. Is there something else I can like break open? Maybe. Maybe. Um, I'm not seeing. Any clues of a spot I'm supposed to break open? A diamond. Am I supposed to just aimlessly click, maybe? Maybe that could be? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Why is this stool? This stool is in, like, everything, too. It's very... intriguing. Hmm. 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 No. No. Is there something else I can put on here? Like, can I put the knife on here? I don't see why the magnet would attract a diamond. This is interesting. Mirror? Okay, so... Oh, okay, okay. I think I, think I understand what it's... Mirror everything, so that would be that. Um, twos would be... Like, um, wait, 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 six times 237, and that gives me my answer. So, 237 times six is oh boy, oh boy, um, six, two, three, seven, six times 237 is two. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen twenty two. Am I doing that math right? I did. I did do that math right. And there's our diamond. There's our diamond, you guys. Now all I gotta do is put that there. Well. Okay. And now it's just black. It's just black outside. <gasps> Hi. Take the knife, stab him. Oh. Oh. Hello? Interesting. Interesting. What's this? What's this? What did I not get? What, what, what is this? What, what? I don't think I got these two. What are these? What are these things? Hmm. Do we... Okay, do we... Do we... Do we try to... Figure out what these two are? And get these? Or do we just move on to the next one? See, that's the question. That's the tricky part. I say... We're gonna figure out what these two are. Why do I still have the chest? Is there something else I can do with the chest? What if... What if I... Ooh. What, what if I were to put in... So, remember in... Remember in Seasons, there was the other code. 
um, in the window that you get, you have to enter in. What if I put that in? Because it's also a four digit code and all of these games like interconnect with each other. So that could very well be a likely thing and I can't go back to enter that code. So I'm going to reset and we're going to spin through this real quick again. And we're gonna see what that, if, if it is actually that one. So with this, what I was wondering is, what if I put in the code from Seasons, which was 1487, I believe. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Well, good news is the correct answer for this one is that. Okay. So what if I... Okay, we got that. Now, um... Now the other thing I'm curious about is, what if I place these in, like, not the order they had them? So, like, if I just shift everything over, nothing happens. We're gonna figure this out. We will 100% figure this out. I wonder... Is there more in the lake? Like, could I keep fishing with the magnet and pull up more stuff? Okay, so what if I attach the magnet? I cast that out. I got the other key. I got the safe. There's another safe. Is there anything else? No, okay. Interesting. Remember the seasons. So this one must be the code from Seasons, which I do believe is 1487. A green diamond. Interesting. Interesting. And the coin. So what if I use the green diamond instead of the the normal one? Um, boy, I don't remember. Okay, now let's show I. Boom, apple went here, coin goes here, and what if I use this green one now? It's not a pentagram, it's a pentagon. Interesting. Interesting. Did anything change though? He's already standing here. Instead of being down, okay. What was that? Okay. Interesting. But there's still this one. What is, what, okay. We're gonna do it again. And we're gonna figure out what this last one is. Okay, so I looked through this, the Steam achievements for this and it's, it's for an achievement called Hoarder. So I'm assuming I just need every item. What I'm thinking, right? I have to place this because I need to get these items. Come here, place that. But then if I use this, then I get the shrimp. And then I cut open the shrimp. Right? Right? I go boom, and I go bam. Take that, take that. And then I take this and I open that. Grab both of those, come back to the fishing pole, put the magnet on here, put the magnet on here, get the key, cast out again, get the safe, cast it out again, get the other safe. Now I'm lost because I still need two more spots. And I don't know what else. Because this, I open this and it's just the coin. I open that and it's just the coin. This gives me the fish. This gives me uh, some other item I need for the tree. I think that gives me the person. 
which then gives me the apple. The mold gives me uh, whatever other item. So how do I do this? Wait, if I open these, dang it. If I open these, it gives me an item, but I still keep the box as well. So uh, that'll help. That will help. We gotta be getting real close to... Okay. Okay. Mm, okay, well, I... Oh, I just got it. I just, all I need to do is take my, take my, my magnet back. There you go. There you go. There's the hoarder achievement. Um, it's a good thing it gave it to me before that. But yeah, so it's just getting to have this third row of inventory stuff. So we needed to open both of these and then take our magnet back. So there we go. That is a hundred percent on the lake. I'm going to just finish it out real quick, just to give you guys that little view of everything filled in. And now see we have the hoarder done as well. We got all the achievements on this one. Now I am curious though, did we get everything in here? This? No, there's still three in seasons. We will circle back to seasons to get these three, okay? Because I have no idea what these are, and we'll make that its own separate thing. And I realize this video is a little bit longer, so we will also jump into Arla's in the next video as well. Um, so that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. That was Cube Escape the Lake. If you guys want to check out the Cube Escape games, go down in the description. The link to the Cube Escape collection um, over on Steam is down in there. So make sure you guys go check that out. These games are super fun. There's nine games with the the collection and then there's a bunch of other games outside of the collection um and i look so forward into continuing the series i love the like the puzzle aspect of it i love the creepiness the just everything it's so good um but that's gonna do it for today's video i appreciate you all i love you all and i'll see you guys all in the next video Bye. In a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't wanna be one of the nameless.